guys, Joel Fisher, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Skyblock here today on EnchantedMC.net. We're here for the second episode of the Skyblock series, and yes, get- Oh, today we're here with my girlfriend, and we are going to be starting off right where we left off in the last episode of Skyblock, because I am pre-recording these two videos uh, just to get these out for you guys on time, that way I don't have any delayed uploads. So yes, guys, I just noticed something right away, as you can tell from today's video title and thumbnail. We are going to be doing something with creeper spawners and setting up the big farm for that, but I need 500 mil because there are some on the auction house, so I need to go crazy with sugarcane farm. But in the meantime, guys, in today's video, we are going to be giving away monthly, one monthly crate. All you guys have to do to enter is on screen right now, doing all the things would be greatly appreciated, as it does directly support me and the channel. But on that, guys, let's go ahead and make $500 million so we can buy some creeper spawners and get going here. And guys, we just made the 500 million we need, so we're going to go on the AH, buy these. I don't really know if it's 500 mil is a good price, but there we go. We now have 15 creeper spawners, and in today's video, guys, we are going to be building a creeper spawner somehow, and I'm not exactly sure how we're meant to set these up here on Enchanted MC, but that's why today's video is a learning lesson for the both of us. So guys, I'm pretty new to the spawner economy and I'm pretty sure there's something with buying spawners in the slash skills menu. And uh, yeah, pretty much if you go in here, you can unlock the ability to like buy spawners or something like that. But right now, I'm not sure about that. All I know is that I have quite a few spawners from the crate keys we opened in last video. Yeah, we got some witch spawners. We have 15 creeper spawners now and uh, we have a bit of money to build a little thing. And honestly, I'm not sure how mob like coins work. I'm pretty sure it counts directly as coin balance. So maybe in today's video, we might get a bit of work done on our sword omni tool by setting up a big uh, grinder. But for now, we are going to try and do a mob coin grinder. But these creeper uh, spawners, I want to be automatic. So we're going to set up an automatic farm for the creeper spawners and then we'll work from there, I think. So apparently you can buy them from slash transfer, but that's going to cost us 50 million mob coins which might be doable if i sit here punching can for a while but i do know in slash keys i do have a few unopened monthly so honestly i'm gonna open one of my monthlies and see if we can get a chunk collector for today's video and if we do that'll be super clutch but let's click the middle final reward we got a spawner g kit which isn't bad and we got some blaze spawners which will help go towards and honestly okay we got enough coins to buy it from the slash transfer so we're gonna go ahead and buy a chunk collector now and that should be pretty good for us because now we can set up an automatic creeper spawner, which is going to be pretty dope. So on the newer Minecraft versions, you can actually hit F3 and G and it'll show you chunk borders. So guys, we're going to fill in a full chunk here. That way we are taking full advantage of the chunk collector's size. But yeah, I'm going to round this out and then we are going to place down the creeper spawner and set up a little uh, system for them to automatically die. And while we're at it, guys, I think I'm going to spice this up and make the island look a little bit more interesting by, you know, making this out of glass and maybe a different colored block. So if we head into slash shop, you can take a look at what we got here. I know we have colored clay in the shop over here. We can do some pink terracotta. Honestly, I kind of like the sign terracotta. Purple, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go for the... Uh, si no. Okay, I'm going to do cyan terracotta because I've always kind of liked this block in Minecraft. So yeah, I'm going to get a ton of this. And we're just going to do like a frame like this. And then we're going to do the rest surrounded with glass. And I think lava goes at the bottom anyways because the chunk collector picks up the items before they get burned uh, in theory because it's all digital in the Minecraft world. It's all up there in space. The chunk collector just picks it up before it even burns in the world. So honestly, I'm just going off of what that one YouTuber did the last video where I was looking at his island. He had like a really tall like kind of cube thing where he had the chunk collectors on top and then he had some fall damage for the creepers to spawn in because I think his creeper farm was automatic as well. So I want to give a huge shout out to him. Actually, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, he gave me a huge help. I believe his Twitch name was Infoblox. So shout out to him once again for helping me out so much in the last video. But yeah, we're just going to fill this in with glass and then we're going to get lava going at the bottom so that it burns the creepers. Eye. Okay, so at the bottom, I'm going to get some lava to go in here and that should look pretty sweet and... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to make it very even because uh, I'm pretty paranoid about this looking ugly. So I'm going to place it on every single block. Make sure it looks nice because one thing I love about Enchanted is the water and lava buckets are infinite, which means you can just spam right click without having to get a new lava bucket every single freaking time. Yeah, this is pretty dope if I do say so myself. But yeah, this is going to burn the creepers alive and then we're going to place the chunk collector on top, place in our spawners, and that should be it, hopefully. Unless I mess something up, but it would be pretty classic if I did that. Jewelfish does miss up a lot of things in his videos. All right, guys, so I'm placing down the chunk collector we bought for 50 million coins, and there we go. It has three slots, so I don't exactly know what that means, but it looks like it only has 
three slots. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm going to go ahead and place this up and we are going to place down the creeper spawner. Sorry, that's not meant. Uh, there's not really a center point, so I'm going to try and put it as center as possible. God, this is going to be a little scuffed. I can't even lie. So honestly, I think what other kind of spawners do we have? I know we have like house spawners, but we could do that too. Because what do creepers drop? They just drop the soul flare. So I think we have a lot of cow spawners from info blocks who donated them to us earlier. Yeah, we have sheep spawners. So I'm going to throw in the sheep spawners along with the creeper spawners because uh, that just seems like logical to me for some reason. So yeah, I'm going to make an opening over here and we're going to try and find the center of this thing and then place down four blocks like that. That looks like a, the middle one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're going to place down the 20 or the 37 witch spawners we have, and we are going to deposit all, and we're going to place down the 15 creeper spawners, and then we're going to deposit all, and then they should start spawning, and then hopefully fall to their death, die, and then go in here, and then now we should be able to sell it for a dollar. Okay, we can sell it for five dollars. Okay, I lied. Yeah, now we got the creepers going in there. And it looks like, okay, it has infinite amounts of each item, which means you can place another type of spawner and we'll be good. But now we can make $445. So this is a little side passive income, it looks like. So not bad, honestly. I don't know if it was worth the 500 million we spent at the start of the video. But, oh, why is it giving us uncooked mutton? That's kind of weird. Uh, That's that's unlucky, but yeah, there we go. $1,000, just like that. So if we had an alt on this or like an AFK machine, that would be pretty good. And I'm pretty sure in slash shop, we can buy more spawners. But it's just going to cost a lot of money. We could get uh, an Iron Golem spawner for 100 billion, it looks like. Yeah, that is quite a bit. So for now, this spawner is going to have to do. But now I want to set up a mob coin grinder spawner somewhere else on the island, which is going to help us out quite a bit as well. But yeah, this is something nice to have going. I'm going to be over here breaking some more cane and all that. So yeah, I, I just... Oh. I love the feeling of breaking all this cane and getting tons of coins and stuff. All right, so I just about finished up our freaking... Uh, Mob coin grinder here. Sorry, I had the chunks still on, but yeah, we pretty much place it right beside. Now we are going to go ahead to deposit all of our witch spawners, and then we're all the blaze spawners, and hopefully these don't spawn outside the range, but it should be like fine because it's only two blocks outside of a full chunk, so we should be good to go. And there we go. We got our witches spawning in here. Now we have 400 witches in here, and I believe, okay, we need to upgrade the sharpness on this because I don't think they're dying to one tap, so yeah. Let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade the sharpness. How much is it going to take to get? Okay, it's going to cost a million coins. Let's just max it out for um, how I, it didn't tell me how much that was, but it should be instantly hit now. And there we go, guys. We should be making coins from this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, no. Okay, the combat level is going to take a long time to level. As you guys can see, we're killing about 10 mobs every proc because um, if you look in the chat, it's going up about every 10 as I spam my butterfly click on these witches over here. So yeah, that's a pretty decent thing going right there i'm gonna go ahead and get some coin greed on this just so we can see what it does we got 308 levels for 15 million coins which isn't too bad and hopefully if we start spamming this we'll start to see the coin greed activate in the chat and yeah we made 125,000 coins 70,000 coins but yeah this is a pretty good way to make money and some exp all at the same time while getting some loot i'm actually picking up in my inventory and let's see how much that sells for okay we had 660k obviously we had some blocks but let's see how much a little bit of that sells for okay we made nine dollars from that so obviously not much, but if we end up getting some, uh, hold on. <laughs> if we end up getting a little bit like of a fortune level or like a multi value finder enchant, let the value have a chance of receiving value blocks and grinding, stuff like that, that would be pretty sweet. Have a chance of receiving candy, which is like a custom item. We can literally get the key finder enchant and such. So yeah, there's a lot of other stuff on here that we could get looting, for example. Yeah, like I could have gotten more levels of looting and we could be making more money from doing this other than just $9 from a few ones drop. As you guys can see, if we kill the blazes over here, I believe we should get some blaze rods as well. Honestly, it might just be more efficient for us to kill the blazes. And uh, yeah, I don't know where all the blaze rods are going. There we go. We got two and a half stacks. So if we sell all, yeah, we just made 8k. So killing the blazes might be a lot more money efficient for us. So I might just end up doing that for most of today's video. And then as you guys can see, our coin greed is still activating. We're getting like 90k coins, 60k coins. It's probably not as fast as the hoe. But this is still a pretty good alternative if you guys are looking to make some coins while doing this, some EXP and some money. Because as you guys can see, like as I pick up this blaze rod, we got a ton. If we sell all once again, $25,000. So this is a pretty good way to make some money as well. See, so yeah, I'm already leveling up my combat skills, which if we type slash skills, it is a skill here on the server. 
the combat skill and you guys can unlock more stuff you can un upgrade your creeper spawners and more items as you go along you can access to upgrade the blaze spawner so honestly this is probably the best thing with setting up a mob coin grinder spawner thing because you guys will be able to unlock like keys and you'll be able to unlock the best spawners in the game like the enderman spawners the blaze spawners you will literally be able to upgrade your spawners on the server which is one thing they added recently to enchanted mc like the upgradable spawners and like basically as you upgrade the spawners here on the server they will give even better drops that sell for more so right now i believe these are level two blaze spawners if we keep on grinding my combat skill level we will be able to upgrade them to an even better item where these blaze rods will be a different kind of blaze rod and sell for even more guys so yeah hopefully that makes sense basically grinding out your mob coin or sorry your combat skill here on the server will allow you to buy better spawners that sell for more or upgrade your spawners that will make the items dropping from the spawners sell for more yeah i need to slow down when i explain things sometimes i think either way it's a pretty decent way to make some money 46k and honestly guys it has been about 10 20 minutes since i set this up let's go ahead and see how much this sells for Forty-eight thousand dollars, which honestly isn't much that's like three pieces of sugar cane broken so for now i think we're gonna stick to cane farming but until later on we are gonna get some even more op spawners in there and we're gonna get grinding on upgrading our exp that way we can upgrade the spawner or sorry we're gonna get grinding on the comet skill but i think i want to get better upgrades on my sword before i start doing that right now i'm barely getting any coins and stuff and for the, like i said in my last episode the fastest way to get that going is uh by far going ahead and using the harvester hoe this is probably the fastest way to get coins when you're starting out so honestly for now in the series i'm going to focus on grinding out my hoe over here getting as many coins as possible from it then later on i'm going to have enough coins to use the spare coins i get from using my hoe to use on my sword guys so yeah i'm going to focus on getting coins from this then we're going to use the coins i get from this on the sword yeah there we go but right now i do not have a lot of time to grind for today's video but as you guys can see we are making tons of coins we're going up by the millions now as we grind away here and we're making tons of money so for still now guys the best way to make money if you're a new player watching this video is still the cane farm honestly buying those creeper spawners wasn't very worth it because they're not really selling for much so maybe maybe don't do the creeper spawner meta thing but once we get our combat skill leveled up and we're going to be able to upgrade these spawners over here it might be making us a bit more money but yeah 6k dollars that's really not that much okay i need a way to get in here because eventually one day we're going to like upgrade the boosters in here and we're going to be able to upgrade the spawners but yeah you have not unlocked the spawner upgrades for this mob type type which we need to grind by doing some more mob coin stuff so yeah but for the purpose of today's video i went ahead and grinded 10 million more uh coins using the ho omni tool so now we're going to switch back to the sword omni tool and honestly i don't know what to get guys i'm going to right click it once more it's not giving me the sword okay i need to figure out how that works anyways we i would go get more coin greed but i want to like try out some other stuff we could try out the key finder enchant but i'm not even really sure i'll do much we got sharpness max okay let's try and max out the looting here how much is that going to cost 15 million coins okay we can get four levels for that and hopefully now the amount of blaze rods you get from this will be much more better and worth our time for the grind over here so yeah let's go pick these up and yeah okay we're making stacks of this stuff way faster so i would honestly recommend getting quite a few levels of the coin grind greed sorry but also getting quite a bit few levels of looting because that's going to help you a lot as well and honestly this might be a bit easier than punching cane because you could totally just like turn off your minecraft sound turn on a movie on like the second monitor or your phone even or another laptop you have hanging around or something like that then you could like watch a movie at the same time get some coins get some money and yeah if you guys had a chunk collector for this too it would be even freaking better so yeah that would be dope yeah just after doing all that swinging on video we have a full inventory now so if you do such sell all yeah now we made a million dollars which is pretty good not 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 useless at this point so yeah let's go ahead and do a bit more selling after the little bit of grinding i did yeah 31k so this right here not meta boys not meta one thing you can do with the witches that we do have in the mob coin grinder is they actually drop mob artifacts which basically once you get a thousand witch mob artifacts you guys can type slash armor and you will be able to craft armor for the uh mob or the skill set which will give a multiplier on the amount of like skills as they increase so yeah pretty much the max boost is 0.5 or 1.5 boost so if you guys had a full set of armor that would be pretty freaking op with all this added up so yeah you can obtain this armor by killing witch and gaining their artifact drops and then with exp armor it's blazes which is pretty op i think i'm going to focus on this because that's probably my most likely set to get 
I do have one piece of money chest plate, which I did win from a monthly crate in an earlier episode, guys. So maybe I either go for the blaze armor set or the money set. So yeah, I definitely want to get a full set of max armor later on in the series. Speaking of money, I just noticed I have these money crystals, which is a tool crystal. Dragon drop this money crystal to apply the crystal boost to your tool. 96% to apply this crystal boost 57%. So yeah, I'm going to try. Does it work on the Omni tool, folks? Okay, I'm going to set it to the Harvester hoe, and then we are going to try and apply it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it has a 57% money boost. Oh my gosh, this is going to be super freaking insane in the money department, folks. But I wonder, can I apply more than one boost? Could I add like an experience boost to this maybe too? Maybe on the Mob Coin Grinder too, the Mob Coin Sword, I could do it. But uh, yeah, this has a 110% chance, but it only has a 41 chance of applying. Okay. So I see how this works, but yeah, this gives a key finder boost. Oh my gosh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to drop a bit of money on the key finder enchant in here because there is a key finder enchant. Let's go ahead and see not high enough level. You need to be level 50. Well, what level am I right now? Only level 11. Okay, so you need to be a certain level to buy some of these enchants apparently. Yeah, I'm going to save that for now, but let's try and apply an experience crystal maybe let's try to get a 110 percent boost on our tool you must be holding this tool while applying the crystal okay let's hold it and try to apply it uh there's no more oh you can only put one crystal slot maybe i fumbled by only putting a 57 percent money booster i might have messed this up guys on my omni tool well, it looks like I'm stuck with a 57% money booster on the cane hoe for the rest of the series. And guys, would it be a jewelfish video if we didn't open some freaking jewelfish crates? Guys, we have a few left. Let's go ahead and open up two in today's video. I'm going to do one at a time, though. That way, we really test our luck on the reward brain. We get something more than EXP or money. <gasps> hey, there we go, guys. We finally got some pet boxes, which are really good reward from the jewelfish crates. Let's go ahead and pop these open. What kind of pet will you get? We get a combat pet and mining pet, which will be helpful in mining then another mining pet honestly we're gonna check these out in a later video but pets are a feature on the server that will like multiply the amount of currency you get while using the pets and having them activated okay let's go ahead and open up another jewelfish crate if you guys are wondering what jewelfish crates are they're a great way to directly support me in the channel and yeah they're basically a crate on the server that are named after me and we got some white scrolls which prevents an item from being destroyed when applied to something so i wonder if the white scrolls even work with the key finder crystals and stuff like that but i i doubt it i doubt it and for funsies let's open up an admin crate let's go ahead and see what we get from this oh yeah we can open up multiple slots i always forget about that hopefully we get something good maybe some more money armor or something like that we got five crystal boxes which uh oh okay so that gives crystal boxes the stuff we were just looking at earlier and we got a spawner g kit which is not bad guys not too bad which just includes oh more blaze spawners and more creeper spawners oh my gosh wait guys i could totally add this to the stack and maybe we'd make more money i don't know the sulfur oh this might be an issue i might take out the sheep spawners and just put in the regular creeper spawners yeah let's go ahead and pick these up let's withdraw all and then place down the creeper spawners because i feel like this is going to make us more money anyway so yeah there we go now we should be able to make a bank from both regular creepers and upgraded creeper spawners. anyways guys let's go ahead and see what else we got we got mob coin generators guys we were looking at these in the last episode let's go ahead and place this down now we officially have a coin generator here on the island this is looking sweet i wonder if you can pick it up remove generator will that put it back okay it will thank gosh okay so hopefully later on the series we get a bunch of these going but yeah that is looking pretty sweet as well oh shoot i got two from the admin crate okay admin crates are pretty lit because now i have two coin generators all right let's see if i have more in the inventory not yet okay let's see this i think this is a tier one and then this is a tier two so yeah that's looking pretty cool honestly guys i'm really tempted to open another admin crate but we do have some rusty keys and some other normal keys don't have any enchanted keys let's open up as many enchanted keys as we can let's see what we get from these and uh hopefully we get some more coin generators because i would kind of like some more of those but i highly doubt it we just got a lot more coins money some basic spawners and stuff like that but let's see did we get more sulfur spawners okay we did that's actually not bad we got some blaze spawners okay i'm gonna throw these in here as well guys uh shoot where, where are these holes i keep on breaking that I keep on going missing all right i'm gonna put a hole here and that we are going to add this to the stack of blaze spawners let's deposit all and then uh yeah we have two more sulfur spawners okay let's type keys and then we'll open the last seven that we have and then hopefully we get good rewards Ooh, we, there's even the crystal pet boxes in these keys that's actually pretty op but yeah we got millions of coins more witch spawners which is good okay i'm gonna add in this witch spawner as well Ooh, it's an upgraded witch spawner wait no it's a normal one also all wait no it's a it's an upgraded one that has a redstone dust okay that's cool and then we have spider spawners and sheep spawners you don't really need 
the sheep spawner. So yeah, let's go ahead and throw in the creeper spawners. And then that should be it for today's video, I think, because we did do a lot of progress in today's video. As I was saying, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode here on Enchanted. We did get quite a bit of progress done. We got two spawners going on our island now. We have some mob coin generators. We got Arcane Hope upgraded quite a freaking bit. And yeah, we are making more money from this now. A 57% boost, which is way better than before. So yeah, guys. I'm going to be grinding this off camera and hopefully in the next video we can make even more progress. But other than that guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to check out the jewelfish crates on store.enchantedmc.net. They directly support me and the channel and I can't appreciate it enough when you guys check them out. But other than that guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. You're all amazing, beautiful people. Remember to smile and have a nice day guys. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and Enchanted guys. It's, it's amazing. And I love you all so much. Peace out home doc. Love you guys.